this video is not going to be very long because I kind of threw out my back again. Well, not really. Not like full on out, but it spasmed a little bit going to do something today. And so like now half of it really hurts, which is fun. So I have this like ice pack just full on sitting on my skin because who needs skin? I was supposed to go to Pittsburgh to record my CD this upcoming weekend. Um, which now that my back is out, I guess it's good that I wasn't going to go anyways. I'm probably going to end up recording my next CD in Michigan, uh, this month and hopefully have that out by VidCon, which is the plan. So yeah, I'm a little stressed about that financially and just hoping it's good and I don't know. This week I've just been reading. I'm trying to catch up with everyone that's like kicking ass on this 50 books for the year thing. I'm pretty sure Crystal's kicking my ass. I know that my friend Megan is kicking my ass. She's like 35 books already because she reads like a book a day at work. I finally read some Edith Wharton because we all know Gretchen's obsessed with her. And it is the angstiest writing ever. Very beautiful, just really sad. Like I feel like Edith Wharton doesn't write any happy stories, which I guess is fine because I don't write any happy songs. But like super angsty. Like I was up one night reading Ethan Frome and I was getting frustrated. Because I just, I hate conflict, even though I know it's necessary and I do somewhat enjoy it. I just, I hate conflict that can't be fixed and I hate, ugh. And then I read Summer by Edith Wharton and that just hurt my heart as well. But I did start reading Hunger Games last night, so I know that Gretchen will be excited about that. And actually that's, that's pretty good so far. I'm enjoying it. I haven't been bored. Also, there's a blockbuster in my house that just is going out of business and has a bunch of movies for like four or five dollars. So I went and spent money on movies at the fall, which I'm excited to watch because it looks gorgeous and everyone keeps telling me how amazing it is. Um, but I think I'm going to save it for last because I want to save something really, really good for last. I got Up in the Air, which I've already seen before and I really, really liked it, so I figured why not spend four dollars on it? Smart People, which I just started watching and I wasn't paying enough attention because I was very confused in the middle of it, so I'll go back and try to watch that again. Sunshine Cleaning, which um, I can't wait to watch because I have an Emily Blunt obsession. Jane Austen Book Club, because again, see my before Emily Blunt obsession. I really, really like this movie. Um, it pretty much just made me want to reread all of Jane Austen, which is probably why I was watching Persuasion yesterday. I want Jane Austen quotes tattooed all over my body. I got Leap Year, which was god-awful, and I wanted to like it because Matthew Good, yummy, um, but I couldn't, I couldn't stand any, I, I couldn't stand either of the characters. I didn't understand why they liked each other at all, but Ireland was pretty, so I guess if you want to see Ireland. I got The Invention of Lying, which was, which was good. Um, it was an interesting idea. I liked it. No. I got Emma, which for those of you who haven't read Emma by Jane Austen or seen it, it's basically what Clueless is completely based on. So it's the same story as Clueless, only not in the 90s. And without that creepy stepbrother relationship thing that always made me feel kind of weird, even though it's Paul Rudd. I like I like my 90s Gwyneth Paltrow. I, I like her, like Emma, Sliding Doors, Shakespeare in Love, which I feel like was the end of the 90s, early 2000s. I respect my 90s Gwyneth Paltrow. I got Away We Go, which John Krasinski is adorable. I haven't seen it yet. Him and Emily Blunt are married in real life. I don't even know who I'm more jealous of, him or her. And then I got An Education, which I'm really excited to see. I actually want to read this before I see it, but um, everyone keeps telling me how good it is and that it will make me hate men. So I also got Grey Nail Polish, which um, Gretchen doesn't respect, but I respect it going to keep buying nail polish colors that anger Gretchen and then flail my hands around as much as possible 